everyone, Tiny the Chippies here. We're doing the shenanigans. Oh, it's 11. Oh. The competition wasn't enough to awaken the statue? Oh well. I suppose it was simply not meant to be. It will be. I just remembered, um, the glow in the dark. We've waited this long already. There's no harm in waiting a little longer. Right, Xiangling? Yep, there's still time. Let's be patient. We'll all see this through together. On another note, I have some good news for you, Kuching. Things are looking optimistic for that recipe you gave me. Master came by before the competition and filled in the parts that we're missing. So now I'll be able to cook it. In fact, I'll go find somewhere to make it right now. Wait here. Sunlight. Obviously not what I meant. You collect recipes, don't you? I thought you'd probably be needing this dish during your travels, so I figured I'd share it with you. Oh, right. Time on you, that. <laughs> Jeez. Uh -huh. Jeez, you're believing your words so fast, you'll give yourself heartburn. Mm -hmm. What are you staring at me for? Go on, go get on with your cooking. Now I get the... Where am I going? Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? I'm lost. Uh, where am I? Oh, I think I know where I'm at. Maybe. Uh, this way. Oh, let me grab that block before. Mom, this way. Cause I gotta go. Oh wait, there's a things. Oh, I just remembered. I'm trying to write a fan fiction. Uh, duh. I'm always trying to write fan fiction. When is that new? Anyway, so I'm trying to write a fan fiction, right? And it's an AU of Genshin, of course. Um. And I got an idea from, um, a thing. Helpful. Uh, why am I got the cup in here? Uh. Am I? Let's see. It's probably down here. Yeah. I need, what is that? Flour? Ugh. Let's see. How about 99? Because why the heck not? Do you sell flowers so I can be lazy? Uh, you sell rice, which is good. But no flour. What the fudge? Bullshit! I need flour! Do you sell flour? Because I know sometimes, like, the... Like, the cook people sell the, like, stuff that I need, the straight up. Hello. Can I have flour? Or do I have to go to Mondstadt? Thank you. I'd be upset if I had to go all the way to Monster just for frickin' flour. 
Scrubs are hard to get. I splurge. Bamboo shoots. I really don't get those too often. I can start growing those. Ugh. Alright. Uh, I'll let that do its thing. Let's like cook a couple of them. Hmm. I wonder. I'll finish off these cooking thingies later. Oh. Mom. I guess I didn't really get too many flowers. Okay, I'm gonna... There we go. actually right here so I might as well do all this shenanigans before I go do anything else Ad oh. Astra yeah 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 I haven't even done the daily commissions in a while like I don't know I'm in like that funk where I can't even do anything you know and I kind of hate it but at the same time I'm like you know I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And like, I feel guilty because I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. But I'm like, at the same time, I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You know? I mean, I just kind of, you know want to relax and just chill and like as much as I do like Genshin I sometimes like without anybody to really hang out with so it gets kind of lonely you know not to mention I have other games to play you know and it doesn't help that I'm also getting distracted with the scumbag villain which is a very good series I know I'm talking about it a lot but it's like super good and I like really enjoy it. And I'm just like, you know? And I do recommend it if you are into that type of thing. I do understand not everybody is into certain stuff and they'll be like, ugh, what is this crap? But like if you, you're into like, um, cause it's like a girl, like a girl romance type of thing. Not like where the character... Like, it's like girls were probably going to be interested in it. More so than men. Um. I don't want to say exactly what it is. Because, you know. It's like one of those topics where it's kind of. You know. Um. Um. Heavy, not like, not heavy heavy, but like, it's, it's sort of like, sensitive, there you go, it's a sensitive kind of thing where I know some people will be like, yeah, this is really good, and some people will be like, ugh, what is this crap, you know, I don't want to see it, you know, and... Oh, I almost forgot to do that. I had to go check out. Is there anything else that I need right now? I didn't know um. Gosh, I'm trying to remember. I think that's all I really needed right now. So I'm just gonna go check out. Hmm. Cement and add on. Where is it? 
I hate that the app moves the numbers. Because it's a little like, I guess for security reasons, the numbers like shuffle after you click it and it's so fucking stupid. Because then I have to like pay attention to what I'm actually doing and I don't wanna. Seems all the other nights already have their I just kinda wanna go into like, I don't give a shit mode. And... I don't wanna. I don't want to. Is the internet working? Because after I'm done with this, I'm going to watch my thing. Ugh, I don't want to do it. Like, as soon as I, like, oh, but I still have to do the stupid thing. I just want to read, but I also want to, um, watch that show I was watching. Like, not the scumbag villain. I was watching something else, but I still do enjoy scumbag villain. I'm reading a fan fiction about it. Um, I'm reading a pretty good fan fiction. There was one, like, one or two thorough lines that I wasn't too fond of, but I was like, okay, whatever. Father's creation. My grandfather was a well known real estate tycoon in Wing, and also a scholar. He was an avid collector of old books and was quite knowledgeable on the history. Because I'm laying down and I just don't want to have. No, hold on. As a child, I used to spend a lot of time with him in the study. We'd read the classics together and debate how much of it was actually genuine. I really like the one was real or not. He used to say, Books are just a bridge that bring us a little closer to history. It's up to those of us in later generations to ask these questions, search for the answers, Sorry. and decide what they mean. Since then, that you guys keep hearing the shuffling. Son, and I've grown up to become a cheesing. My views on Rex Lapis have changed in this time too. From this to <gasps> For me, the name Rex Lapis is inextricably wound up with memories of my grandfather. Whenever I see his name written down, it always reminds me of sitting in my grandfather's study, seeing all of his notes. As I said earlier, this recipe came from those same notes. It's an ancient dish that he was trying to restore to its original form. But, unfortunately, without the full recipe, he never quite succeeded. Still, each time he tried cooking it, he'd always get me to have a taste while it was still warm. Memories. This really is the taste of my childhood. Ancient dish? Are cornbread buns really that old? Well, at least in my family it is. My dad learned how to make it from his dad, and supposedly it's been passed down that way for generations. We call them chili mince cornbread buns. They're a traditional folk food snack, easy to pack up and take with you on the road. So they're the perfect thing to eat on the go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Boba just reminded me of something. I actually made this dish on the day I first met Boba. How did you first meet? It was in a cave in the mountains. I ducked inside to get out of the rain and saw an offering table in there. So I put the cornbread buns I brought with me on it. Then I ended up falling asleep. And when I woke up, I found out that Boba had eaten every last one. Boba followed me around ever since. We're practically family now. Oh, no. Stop the conversation. Look! The, the stone! It burst open! It's... It's... 
Is that Goba? Yes, yes it is. It is in fact the bear. Was. You asked me if a sufficiently festive atmosphere would be enough to reawaken the stove god. And my answer is this. Yes. And no. The stove god has always been a deity with great affection for the people, and who acts in response to their desires. To him, the heart's passions and the heart's desires are not the same thing. Passion can be a technique, a skill, something derived from experience. But desires, they are deep, not innate. They are the heart's strength in its purest form. Masterful chefs is wonderfully exciting, but it is more an exercise of passion than of desire. And mm -hmm. passion alone will not suffice to reawaken the stove god from his deep slumber. But just now, when Kuching ate this dish he had longed for, a deeply held desire was fulfilled. As well as receiving an answer to a question, she also gained something much more precious. A moment of poignant nostalgia so vivid, it felt like she was right there alongside her grandfather. The enormous power unleashed by the fulfillment of this desire resonated with the stove god statue and caused it to manifest once more the form it took in the past of course the stove god himself is not contained within the statue <laughs> the true stove god has been here with us all along how does it feel seeing a statue of yourself from your glory days ah, look at him Still so majestic. Glory days? Wait, what happened? Did Glory used to be different from now? Duh. Oh, yes. Back in his day, your Guoba was once the patron god of the soil. But all the wisdom and power he had then, he has since surrendered to the soil itself. The gods surrendering their power to the soil. I have heard this turn of phrase before, but what does it mean? The kinds of trials and tribulations that a land can face are far more than you could imagine. Droughts, floods, trees, <sighs> rain, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, fires, and plagues. The threat of disaster will never fully disappear from Liyue. Even woes that have never been faced before in history will come to pass in the Ow. future. Such things you know, affect you mortals far more than we are dead die. With our Liwe tends to... I don't know if I should be talking. Talked with you mm. over the barren plains until you arrived at last at the harbor. He joined you in building your dwellings and lighting the stoves. It was his hand that lit the very first street lamp of Liyue and brought the aroma of cooked food into every household in the land. You mortals no longer remember him. Back in the age when you did, he was the closest of all the Adepti to the common folk. Okay. I just wanted to make a comment, which is why I stopped auto. Um... It seems like Liwei tends to have had a lot of other deities and stuff. And whenever they died or something happened to them, um, Morax ended up taking their land. So I'm starting to wonder if Liwei is going to end up like where majority of its land was that of another's before getting transferred over to... Um, uh, more acts before it because like it's like this is what the second maybe third 
deity who owned land or was in charge of an area and then they died because or something happened to them and that land ended up becoming Morax's because he took it over or you know either because either it was wittily given to him or just due to the circumstances he ended up taking over that section of land. The Liwe is huge. So I'm starting to like this is like I said, the second or third deity who <laughs> Venti is just in charge of Monstead and he's just you know, it's like one of the smaller areas. And even in a Inazuma, like the Watatsumi Island was owned by another deity before that one was struck and down by either well I might have been struck and down by both of them I'm not I would have to relook at it I don't remember who I don't know if it was taken down by A or like her sister or both or whatever it's whatever but yeah but I don't think Mo no Dragon's point kind of monstrous. Yes. God of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck stone. He was a god with a great love for humanity and their well being. Millennia ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stove god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people back south to Liyue Harbor. Though the distance was not far, the journey was plagued by a terrible storm. The Adepti. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. <laughs> During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy. Flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp. Fit for those on the move. Like, Ganyu's mom was Centuries in there, later, by the way. Disaster and plague arose once more. The stove god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell I the will... calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced. Thus, his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame. Then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber. Creepy. The stove god departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. The stove god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves, and cooked food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. In you have see young me. Things have always been this way. Like. Uh, Madame Ming's gonna be her, her young form. Nature provides. Um, the mountains rejoice. We are blessed right. by heaven's there. good grace. That's Ma young Madame Ming. Years have gone by. The world has transformed. But our way of life survives. I like how, like, everybody's all cute and chibi. They show do. Fame and fortune is only a wrong. season. It is the moment that we should embrace. That's gonna be the new character in the background. Past we haven't meets seen. present. Yep. Heritage becomes legacy. Alarm. Long no. into the future may we thrive. And I like how Lumine's there. Told me that 
Dining is the profoundest of customs in the human world. To eat well is to consume vitality itself, and to drink well is to partake of the very essence of the world. It is a matter of paramount importance, you said, for people cannot face the arduous journey ahead on an empty stomach. At once a humble affair and a profound one. A humble meal of maize and spring water is also profound in that. By ensuring one's survival, it paves the way for millennia of human history and culture to come. My dear friend, Liri has changed so much while you have slept. Looking at the prosperity and beauty around us today, does it make you happy? Boba, this is kind of a huge deal. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, he is not who he once was. Even the power of speech evades him now. There's no way he could have told you. Oh. Boba? But... but... Hmm. Songling. Do not be saddened, Xiangling. There are two sides to everything. Guo Ba may have lost many of his formal faculties, but he is now as carefree as can be, without a single worry in the whole world. In this world we inhabit, who can truly be said to live a life free of all woes? Those with a mind and with the knowledge will certainly be troubled by all manner of things. But he has gone further than us in his journey. He had both wisdom and courage. Everything he took upon himself, he was also ready to part with. His carefree demeanor today is a testament to the fact that he is at rest. So since you are his friend, take good care of him. Go out to walk and play. Allow him to eat, drink, and be merry. I will! You can count on me! Xiangling, you have an adeptal affinity. Guava follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. After all that time, he still recognized the dish he had invented. And he approved of you as the one who had cooked it. That's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of home. Though he remembered nothing, eating the food you had cooked gave him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. You may be the first person in history to give the stove god the experience of being a satisfied customer. That makes you quite a remarkable chef. Beh. If that's true, I couldn't be happier. Because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Well then, eh. it's getting late and I still have things to do. Time for me to say goodbye. Traveler, Paimon, Xiangling. Thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. Sounds good. We'll be waiting. I guess my dad's probably heard the good news already, but I should still go catch up with him. Master, it's been a while since you came by. Why don't you join me? He thinks about you all the time, you know. He's always telling me to invite you over. Oh, goodness me. Then... Far be it from me to refuse. Off we go then. Let's saunter over gently and see how all the city folk are getting along. Weird. Sorry, I was looking at something. Um, I don't give a damn about anybody else. Um. You might be wondering, what is she doing? Um, let's see, who can I change out? Why do, what is up with this team? What was I doing with this? What the hell was I doing with this? Oh, the fireballs for that one. 
main team. What was I doing with this? What the hell? Uh... What the heck is this? This is just me trying to find characters to level up so I can be lazy. What is this? What was I doing here? Well, Diana would be shield. I guess I would use Jane as the main DPS. And need the Claymore character, which is and then Zhang then Xing Ling. Her her ult's pretty good. I guess. Huh. This one probably just used to fight the fire boss. Seems like fire boss. Because two water characters. And then Electro does I guess I'll okay, go. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who what I want to meet. Husbando. Husbando. Uh. I'm not against it. I mean, I'm not for it, but I'm not against it. Okay. Um, actually, let's just do this. Um, no, can I please not do the thing I... I'll just change out a... What the hell is her name? Um... Traveler, can you please say something else for two seconds? Ah! I was killing myself. Um, didn't mean to do that. Um. Let me be free! I need to go meet up Hasbando time! Hasbando! Hasbando! Hey, Hasbando! Where am I? Also, like, the reason why I'm believing this long is might as well. Just like, I'm almost done. We're almost done with this. Look at him. Oh, it's you. Hello there, old friend. Oh, bless my soul. Are you out for a stroll as well? Given the season, it felt fitting to take a leisurely walk while the meal is being prepared. Look at him. Right. So it sexy. also gave us the chance to run into you. Guoba may not recognize you, but as ever, he seems quite delighted to see you. So, Woba doesn't remember anything, but can still feel when something's familiar? Friendship will always withstand the ravages of time. Traveler, what do you think of the name of this festival? Moon Chase. Oh, okay. I thought I heard something and I left the, the Roku on. In the kitchen, so well, I should deal with that. But nah. He's a carrier of countless emotions. So many things only seem to surface as we gaze up beneath its poignant glow. Wherever the moonlight shines, the heart is wont to follow. Fond memories of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past and gone. All wrapped up in the city that has existed for so many moons to date. All these things and more. They are why people chase the moon. <laughs> in old age, the sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood. But 
Your children are always a beautiful sight to see. Such exuberant life force. It, it seems to well up from deep within the land itself. A land that has been in existence for so many millennia, and yet one that still dazzles today. I just thought of something that Madame Ping is an adept, right? But she ages, obviously. But Zhang Li has an age, and he's probably around the same age or even older than Madame Ping. So is it because because he was. Is it because he is an Archon, was an Archon, that he stopped aging? Does the Gnosis cause them to stop aging so whatever age they are, they, are, they remain forever youthful, if you will? And they keep the age of that uh, when they first got the, the Gnosis? But it, once they give it away, they stop age. They start aging again, or do they continue to keep that that youth? I'm just curious because, again, the cutscene showed a young Madame Ping, and yet here she is as an old lady, and yet Zhang Li hasn't aged a bit. Quite curious. Also, again, Zhang Li. Beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Anyway. Traveler, this Moon Chase Festival has been all the more entertaining with you here to witness it. Now, let's have Xiang Ling brew us a nice pot of tea. We shall drink and chat at our leisure. There he is. No. Just taking a picture. I actually did this with on my other account where I was like can you not look away, m child? Just kind of cover my up, ping up. Just a smidge. Eh, go away, you can stay there, I guess. Maybe. Can you look back at him? Thank you. No. There we go. Fine, right? Maybe. Only oh, had fancy run. Okay. Madam Ping, I'm gonna have to get in front of you. Oop. Angles. Just trying to get the right angle. No, I need you to scooch. There you go. Just kind of slouch down a little. And then to the right. No. Uh, he's looking too far up. Shongli, I love you, but why are you not looking in the direction I need you to? Back up a little. Lumi, please stop. I need you to look back at Zhongli. Look at him. Please look at him. Thank you. I just need to get rid of Madame Ping in the background. It'll be perfectly fine. It's fine. Whatever. Mm. The 
food at Wan Min restaurant is excellent. I eat here often. How do you eat there often when you have no money? Say that again. Xiang Ling is a remarkable child. Surely the culinary talent of the century. <laughs> Indeed. To have mastered the craft at her age lends credence to the old aphorism that heroes are made young. Alright, as much as I would like to talk to him more and just like love the fact that how sexy Zhang Li is. Um This is technically the end. Hmm. Everyone's here to eat. What should I cook? Let me think. I've got some fowl and some fish and shrimp meat. So I can do two snack dishes. Yes, and a few stir fries. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love it. Somebody's speeding outside. Alright. Well, besides doing the Dragon Spine um, collectathon and then the delicacies for that, like, um, and when I mean the delicacies, I mean the fighting thing. It's just. For that, I have to defeat, I think, all the bad guys while keeping the warmer from going out. It's essentially like protect the middle of us. So it's not really that, you know, special. But I'm probably going to end up doing that tomorrow because I really, really want to watch that show. That I was it's about um, a chick. Who goes to a college that, or something like that? But it's like in China at like Asian times or so. It's all it's essentially an all boys school or something. But whatever. Anyway. Um. Hold on. Let me go in front of. Strongly, and then end the episode because I want to just be near my husband. -o. And I honestly don't mind this ship, you know? Though I do prefer. Um. Venti and Zhongli? I'm not against Lumi and Zhongli. Not really. Look at him. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. Oh, I'm going to get ready for work and I got laundry to do anyway. Yeah. <sighs> so for now, Tiny's the Chibis is signing out.